And now to get to this transmission mount, we have to take out the battery, which I did here. Took off the battery tie down. Now I gotta take out the battery tray. So next you wanna pull this bolt out after you get the nut off the other side. And uh, everything's a 17. And once you get that out, then you can take the four that mount the mount to the transmission. Okay, I got those four studs or bolts or whatever off. That's what came out there. And then here, of course, we have our already modified transmission mount. So I'm just going to throw that right in. I guess I will keep the old mount because A, it's still good, and B, I could always actually cut the old stuff out and transform it into this. So let's just get it into place here then first. So one of the studs was actually stuck in still, and you can't get the mount out without getting that stud out of the way. So right here, I put two of the nuts on. I got one nut off of one of these studs and locked them together and got it out the rest of the way. So now I can pick this mount up out of the way here. And then we're ready to put the new one in. And with that now out of the way, we're ready to put the new one in here. Now let's just get it the right way, slip it into place. Okay, there we go. It's in place. Now I'm going to get the studs and nuts back on first. So now before you tighten these studs and nuts, you want to leave this a bit loose so that we can get our center bolt in here. I got it started and it looks like, yep. So it's going to go all the way through here then. And then I just got to get the nut on the end and torque it. Get this battery tray back in place with its 12 millimeter bolts. Get the battery back in place. Tie down back on. There we go. Now all four motor mounts, which the transmission mount I consider to be a motor mount in this front wheel drive transaxle configuration. So basically all four corners are upgraded to polyurethane.